Um, I was gonna start this video like this and I literally just woke up like my bed's not made I'm not made but I think I'm gonna get ready and then film this video so I just look a little more you know presentable much better I'm not even entirely sure where to start this video I guess I can start by saying I haven't posted a YouTube video or really just any content on my YouTube channel since January 22nd. That is almost two months ago and that is incredibly disappointing. I am so incredibly sorry to all my viewers, to everyone who has supported my channel from the deepest part of my heart. I am so sorry. I really don't have a better excuse besides life got incredibly hard and I finally feel comfortable enough to be posting again and stable enough to just get back in the groove of making these YouTube videos. Actually, during the course of these past two months, I have been making videos. I just haven't been editing them and putting them on my YouTube channel. On February 28th, I created a video with the intentions of never ever putting it on my YouTube channel. I kind of made it with the intentions of feeling like I was talking to an anonymous person about everything going on in my life. I'm gonna show you guys a tiny clip from that video just to kind of give you guys an idea of what was going on in my life during the past two months. I don't even know where to start this video. Um, 2018 has been incredibly hard. The family stuff has been really heavy on my heart. It's hasn't been easy on top of not having a car to get away from it all, on top of financial stuff, on top of working every single day of the week because I'm currently working at Starbucks on the weekends and then at my new job at the Seattle Children's Hospital on the weekdays just to kind of get caught up financially. It's just been really, really hard. I am the kind of person that I don't let obstacles deter me from who I am or being positive, but you know, you can only, you can only take so much when you're one person. It was like, you know, one thing happened and then um, I would kind of jump over that hurdle and get through it, but it finally felt like there were so many hurdles like stacking up against me that I couldn't, I couldn't get over them. That was my breaking point, but I'm really happy to tell you guys that I am very, very far away from that point now. I think as someone who wants to be really transparent on their YouTube channel, it's really hard to talk about the difficult aspects of your life because people see you um, through this one perspective of, well, Jordan's really happy and she's really optimistic and bubbly. And unfortunately, my life isn't always that way. And nobody's life is, nobody's life is perfect. So it feels really good to be able to tell the people who do watch these videos and kind of show you guys that I'm not perfect, my life isn't perfect, but I'm still so incredibly blessed in so many different ways. And I couldn't be more thankful for all of them, but Everything in my life kind of feels like it's finally falling into place. I am getting more involved in my church life and really growing in my faith. I am working out again. I go to a hot yoga studio. I am working out on a daily basis. I'm hanging out with all my friends again. I am creating new relationships with people. Life just feels really, really good. Over the course of the past two months, I have been shooting videos. I just haven't been posting them. They've literally been sitting on my camera I just haven't had the motivation really to edit them and put them on my YouTube channel. I do want to share with you guys what I have been doing for the past two months that are a little more on the brighter side. During the month of January, I went to Atlanta, Georgia to visit Jake, who was one of my really close friends while I was in Florence. And it was really awesome. He showed me all around Atlanta, all around Athens. We went to Charleston, South Carolina. I met so many cool people. It was such an incredible trip. I literally cannot wait to go back to Atlanta one day and explore more because I was only there for like three days. Overall, it was such a great trip and an awesome experience. Big shout out to Jake. The trip wouldn't have been the same without him, obviously. We celebrated my mom's birthday. It's the first day of February, which also means it's my mom's birthday. And I decorated the entire house. I surprised her with cupcakes and a gift and the decorations. Overall, it was a really, really fun time. Everybody probably knows Seattle as the rainy city, but we've been really, really, really lucky to have some really beautiful days here in Seattle. Hey, hey, yes. hey. You know it's gonna be a good day. Everything. When you can wear your sunnies. Your sunnies? 
Somebody's what someone calls a grandpa. Ooh, turn or up what the what grandpa's song. called their kids. What? <laughs> Sun's out, buns out. I'm on vacation. <laughs> every single day. Every single day. Every single day. Every single day. I went to the Chinese New Year's Festival in Seattle in the International District, which was really, really cool because guess what? It is the year of the dog, and guess who's a dog? Another one on February 17th will be up on 10th and Jackson. We made it to the show. Um, they're currently doing like a little thing where kids can go up there and learn like Kung Fu. You can't see it, but the mayor is on the stage. Happy New Year! The governor. So I am one Fun of facts. <laughs> because I actually was born in the year of the dog. Woo! Me too! That's all you got! Let's hear it! Come on! Woo! So I don't know anything about comics or like the comic scene or anything like that, but I had the opportunity to go to Comic Con. The I think it's like. The, ter the actual name of it's like Emerald City Comic Con, I think. Uh, anyways, I had the opportunity to go there with my brother, thanks to Mac, who I work with at the Seattle Children's Hospital right now. He was able to get us two free passes to just go in and look around and hang out for a couple hours. It was overall really fun. I didn't know half the things I was looking at, but I still had a really good time. I saw some pretty cool robots, and I played pinball for like a half hour. Hey, good morning, vlog. It's your boy, and then your girl. We're vlogging right now. We're on our way to Seattle Comic Con, Emerald City Comic Con. Woo -woo! We're getting free tickets, so we're getting in early. We're Shout doing out. some good stuff. Shout out to Mac. You are the best for getting us in. I love you, Mac. So we made it to Seattle. Oh, sorry, I'm like rushing. We made it to Seattle. We are, it's so cold. My brother's not wearing a jacket. Ooh. Okay, so we made it in. We got our badges, and we're with Mac. He's like showing us around, so I'll introduce you guys in a second. But this is huge. I've never actually been inside the Seattle uh, Convention Center, so Mac, this is the vlog. Say hi, vlog. Hey. <laughs> this is Mac. How's it going? I work with Mac at the Seattle Children's Hospital. He's the one who hooked it up. But yeah, he's gonna like show us. He's gonna give us a DL of what we should be doing because I honestly have no idea. <laughs> we are, we are I auditioned to be one of these at Disney and I was too tall. I don't get that very often. You're the worst. That's my kind of comic book. I low key feel like I'm at Disneyland because there's Honey! There she is! Well, that's pretty much all the clips I have. I wish I had more for you guys, but I really wasn't carrying my camera around a whole lot. Like I said, I didn't have the motivation to do so. What I can tell you guys is I do have the motivation now. I'm so ready to be dedicated to this channel. I know I say that all the time, but I really am. I'm getting more organized. I got a planner and I have got this awesome note book that I've been writing my ideas down for my YouTube channel. If you guys have any ideas, please like shoot me a comment. I put my like social media on this stuff, like DM me, I, I would love to hear from you guys. There is some really exciting things coming up. I'm going to Disneyland with my sister in May. I'm going to Idaho in May to visit one of my really close friends. I'm getting my hair cut. I'm doing some, I'm dramatic, I'm gonna get a dramatic cut, let's just say that. I'm going to a music festival this summer. I'm actually going to two music festivals this summer. I'm going to a lot of concerts this summer. There is just some awesome things happening and I just, can't wait to share them with you guys. Please subscribe. I love you guys so much and I will see you on the next vlog.